guys, we're going to try this again. This is going to be defensive maneuvers and damage control for number three. We had uh, Admiral, we have received word of an imminent enemy airstrike. We need to boost our defenses. The carrier's defenses are measured in defense points, shown on a meter in the top left corner of the screen. Our strike group's escort ships share a separate defense value, shown on the highlighted escort icon. Hover over this icon to continue to increase these values. We need to assign crew to a specific department. Please open the crew management menu to get started. We can yeah, guys, increase both our defense values by assigning personnel to the anti-aircraft department. One point per crew unit. Drag and drop a crew unit there now. The number what? of available uh, slots in the department can be upgraded later. Whatever so. you do, don't put this on, on, uh, on speed it up all the way because once you do you can't get it to stop so uh, it's a bug in the system or something i can speed it up times two but you go any faster than that and you screwed up we can now exit this menu sir ordering our ship's escort to assume a defensive formation will also increase both of our defense values this can be achieved by launching a defensive position order. Select this order from the orders list, assign yourself to the task admiral, and then in the island view, we can send an officer to the combat information center to set the switch to add one times CAP mission, enabling a combat air patrol mission. Sir, on my way. Hey, where's he at? Roger that. You must now enter the deck view, Admiral. Position two squadrons of fighter aircraft on the deck to prepare the CAP mission. Remember that you can see the planes required for a mission by hovering over its icon below, sir. Launch the mission, and you'll see both our carriers and escorts' defense values increase by two points. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Start engine. Next, sir, I recommend another defensive action that can be a The switch we want to set is in the pilot briefing room, Admiral. Move your available officer there. Out of my way! In this room, you can set the switch to add plus one carrier defense to we are almost ready, sir. We can also use the active ability of one of our escort ships to get our defenses to the requisite level. To do this, we begin by opening the escort panel. Click the Heavy Cruiser's Play button. Two options will appear for this ship's active ability. One to raise our carrier's defense, the other to raise our escort's defense. Each of these options raises one of two defense values. Other ships' abilities will raise both. For now, Click the carrier defense. Excellent, Admiral. We are now in a much better position to defend against enemy attacks. You can click the incoming enemy button above the radar to see the approaching forces. Observe the value of the enemy's attack strength in comparison to our carrier's defense. We must now wait to see how the battle unfolds. <laughs> Speed it up a little bit. Well done, sir. We successfully repelled the attack. 
However, our defense values have decreased. Some of the effects of the measures we took to raise our defenses were temporary, having been put to use, like the CAP mission, or worn off over time. Hover over the carrier's defense meter for more information. In the crew management menu, you will see that the anti-aircraft crew is currently busy maintaining the cannons. To repair the ship faster, we need to assign as many men to damage control, DC, as we can, sir. The more units we have in that department, the greater... As always, we must wait for the units to take their positions in DC. Once we have enough personnel assigned to DC, we'll have an effective workforce ready to deal with damage and malfunctions. Once they are in position, Close the menu to return to the deck, Admiral. We can form one damage control team from the island. To do so, you must first move an officer to the highlighted navigation room. Ready, sir! Roger that. Finally the third time I'm doing the same thing. It finally went went through. So I'm getting it back from here. Guys. You can so enable add one times DC team. DC which add with our now. DC teams in place, repairs can be there's been a malfunction in the engine section, Admiral. To assign the DC teams to repair this, click one of their portraits in the damage control panel and select malfunction repair, represented by a cogwheel icon. Excellent! Now we need to wait for the malfunction to be fixed. Fire broke out in the hangar. We must assign one of our teams to firefighting duties. Quickly. This task is rep just in time. DC is dealing with the fire as we speak. Water has breached the helm section, Admiral. To pump out the water, a DC team must be assigned to de-flooding duties, represented by the droplet icon. Our men in DC are dealing with this, sir. We just need to wait for them to finish pumping out the water. Admiral, we're taking water. You should send DC teams to pump it out. I've done done it, guys. Let's go. As well as assigning tasks to DC teams, you can also take direct control over their actions. To enable this function, we must return to the island. There is already an officer in the navigation room. In there, you can set the switch to the function labeled 
boost and gain direct control of DC teams. Some of our crew have been injured, sir. Click the highlighted event icon to move the camera to where this event is taking place. If more than one, while injured crew will receive first aid from DC teams assigned to medical duties in the damage control panel, you can also tend to them quickly by sending the DC team directly to the segment marked with the cross icon. Select the DC team from the panel and then click the segment where they are needed. We must not delay, sir. Ready. Impossible, sir. Awaiting orders. Can't do that, sir. On your command. On our way. We were able to save our injured shipmates, Good. sir. Had we not reached them in time, they would still be alive, but in mortal danger. The units portrait in the crew management menu would then be marked with a red background, and that to make the medical department operational, you need to move an available crew unit there. The highlighted slot in the unassigned crew unit's panel, marked with a cross symbol, really? represents space in the sick bay. Move the critically injured unit there, sir, and they will receive treatment. What? The unit will be inactive for okay. a while, but they will recover. You can now- Another enemy airstrike is imminent, Admiral. Wow. Wait for the enemy strike. There's nothing else we can do. We survived the attack, but the carrier sustained significant damage. You must coordinate the repairs, sir. There is a fire below deck, sir. Well, come on, where's my car? Ready. Awaiting orders. Oh, come on, really? Awaiting orders. Can't do that, sir. Yes, sir. Ready. On our way. On your command. Negative. Impossible, sir. Aye, aye. Awaiting orders. Negative. Can't do that, sir. On your command. Impossible, sir. Ready. Yes, sir. On your command. Actually, looks like we're doing pretty damn good, guys. Awaiting orders. Nope. We're good. On your command. Ready. Aye, aye. A 
Awaiting orders. Yes, sir! Your command. Aye, aye. On our way. <coughs> Awaiting orders. Aye, aye. Ready. Yes, sir. Negative. Awaiting orders. Aye, aye. On your command. On our way. Ready. Aye, aye. Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. One down here. Ready. On our way. Been taken care of. Wow, guys, we're looking really good here. On your command. Yes. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you for joining. We'll see you back here in a little bit.